Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to estimate uh, the ETS models that I introduced in the previous video. Now, in the case of uh, exponential smoothing methods, we were minimizing uh, SSE to get uh, those models. But uh, these ETS models are uh, estimated using what we call maximum likelihood estimator, where we calculate uh, the probabilities of uh, getting uh, various parameters and essentially a higher probability means uh, our model is good. I'm not going to talk about uh, maximum likelihood uh, in particular because it's beyond uh, the scope of uh, this course. Rather my aim here is to show you how to estimate these models in R and how to select the best model. Essentially our goal here is to estimate uh, various parameters associated with the uh, the level equation, the trend equation, and the seasonal equation, and then obviously we can introduce a damped parameter in it. So in R, we'll use ETS function, and the first argument will be our data set. And then we have to specify the model that we want to use. So this ZZZ means uh, we need to tell R about ETS. So first Z will be the error component that we want to introduce, the second Z will be the trend component that we want to introduce, and the third component will be our seasonal component that we want to introduce in our model. And based on our previous uh, video, we can introduce uh, error in the additive form or in the multiplicative form, the trend component in uh, the additive form or the additively damped form, and similarly we can introduce the seasonal component uh, as additive or multiplicative uh, seasonality. So each of these Z represents uh, either E, T or S. Then we can tell R whether we want to introduce this phi parameter in it or not. That is if uh, we want to introduce uh, this phi or we want to introduce a damped trend, we can uh, uh, turn on this switch by damped equals true. Then we have uh, these uh, three parameters, alpha, beta and gamma. We can either specify various values that we want to use. And remember I talked about uh, various values of alpha that we can uh, choose. So we can either specify the values or let R choose the values based on maximum likelihood estimator. Similarly, we can introduce this phi parameter that will choose uh, to damp uh, down this series. Now remember, we talked about this lambda, which is uh, our box cox uh, transformation. And we can introduce this transformation if uh, the variations in the time series are not constant over time. And similarly, we can also control for a bunch of uh, stuff. If you want to know more about each of these, you can simply type in question mark ETS and R will show you a help file about this function. Remember, there are many models associated with ETS because each component can be entered in multiple forms. We can estimate many combinations of models here. So which model will be the best model? So how to choose the best model among various models based on various components of ETS? So we talked about the model selection criteria in the past. So you can either use a KaiK information criteria, a KaiK information criterion corrected or Bayesian information criteria to determine which ETS model is giving you the best results. In the next video, I'm going to show you an example in R. I'm going to automate this whole uh, procedure so that we can get uh, all these values uh, automatically and uh, we don't have to specify any of uh, these values. So I'll see you in the next video to talk about uh, how to forecast uh, using uh, ETS models. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.